For the most part, high pressure dominating, going to be keeping most of the Q2 viewing area dry. Did see some showers and thunderstorms down in northern parts of Wyoming this morning and off to our east. We do have this area of low pressure kind of just parking itself over on the eastern side of the state, and that means this afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, also into the evening, we could see some scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms getting hotter the next couple of days. Tuesday, Wednesday going to be our hottest days of the week for most. Then we're going to be cooling down just a bit as we get into the latter part of the week. It uh, doesn't last as we get into Sunday, early part of next week. Looks like those temperatures are going to heat right back up again. So we're not done with possible extreme heat yet once we get through a couple of bouts of it the next couple of days. A lot of sunshine out there for the Q2 viewing area this week, so you'll definitely want to put that sunscreen to use. A lot of sunshine, like I mentioned today, in Livingston, your high getting up to 91. You'll see your fair share of sunshine in Cody with uh, a few passing clouds with a high of 86. Saw some thunderstorms this morning in Miles City, maybe a chance of rain, like I mentioned later today. High of 94, still a chance to see some thunderstorms in Sheridan with a high getting up to about 93. 92 this afternoon in Billings, maybe tonight. We could see a few drops of rain, but will not interfere if you're heading to the fair.